This, so she actually had DLK, diffuse lamellary keratitis, which is really bad luck if you think about it. You know, like she, um, she had, she couldn't tolerate her contact lenses and she had giant papillary conjunctivitis, went in for LASIK and came out with this. This is a really bad um, inflammation after LASIK. It's rare. It's not an infection, uh, but basically what you have is inflammatory infiltrates underneath the corneal flap and they call it sands of Sahara. Um, and this is what it looks like. It, it happens about one to two days after refractive surgery. It resolves five to eight days later if you treat it properly. And it happens to about two to 4% of patients undergoing LASIK. Um, we don't exactly know why it happens. And if there's a, a corneal defect, like an abrasion, then that increases your chances by 24 uh, times to have DLK. So definitely if you have a corneal defect uh, or abrasion, it will increase your likelihood. So the symptoms are pain, foreign body sensation, photophobia, light sensitivity, blurry vision, which is not exactly what you would expect after LASIK. Um, and these are just the different stages. Obviously, for stage four is really, really serious. We're talking about corneal melting. Um, but before that, you know, it's definitely manageable uh, because it's just beginning. So the treatment is uh, a steroid, um, antibiotic, artificial tears, also bandaged contact lens. Uh, so this is what we did for our patient. Uh, we gave her a little bit of everything. Um, and sometimes they have to irrigate underneath the flap and then reposition the flap uh, and remove subepithelial infiltrates to minimize complications.